Hello, good day, everybody. I'm your host, Cool Breath, the host of Cool Breath Sports. We're coming to you live right here at Leesburg, Jane Lowell County area. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I'll get you guys to the fact that uh, of the 2021 WWE Draft Night 2 results, I'll tell you who went where. I'll talk with you guys about the fact that um, Sean Con- Shad Khan is um, roasted over my, by the way. Colin calling, calling his um, actions a bit inexcusable, by the way. I'll get you guys to the fact that. Um, Two-time NBA champ Paul Gazelle's retired. Gives you guys the fact that um, Hayden Holman, who was 22, has been deceased and across the finish line. Gives you guys the fact that uh, Justin Thornton was deceased at 30, 38 weeks weeks after um, he got a KO loss to Dylan Eckler at BKFC 20 at, from August 20th, by the way. That a uh, Washington trainer, Washington football trainer, is being is on the lead, by the way, be, because of a DEA criminal investi- because of criminal investigation by DEA, and his house was raided as well. Bubba Wallace becomes the second black driver to win the NASCAR Cup Series in um, Talladega, by the way, since Wendell Scott did back in 1963. And Alex Morgan, her reactions to um, the fact of the Paul Riley allegations. And uh, that's all there is you need to know on that, everybody. So, and also the charges to be the Raiders last night, twenty to fourteen. And um, yeah, also the fact the AI introduced cannabis line with Al Harrington. That's all there's you need to know on that. And um, Bears have traded. Bear, yeah, the Dolphins have traded Jakeem Grant to the Bears at a twenty twenty took six round pick. That's all there's you need to know on that, everybody. And also, I'll, t- I'll tell you exactly who the. Um, Last DLC character was that was just unveiled. Yes, just, uh, that was unveiled early today. By the way, and you guys may have seen the trailer, but it's gonna surprise you guys. So get ready for that. All right. So first things first, I'm just gonna start with the um, 2020 WWE Draft Night Two results. Becky Lynch went to Raw, even though she didn't lose the Raw Women's Title because she was pregnant. By the way, the Usos are gonna be staying on SmackDown. They're SmackDown Tag Team Champs. La- Bobby Lashley stays on Raw. Sasha Banks stays on SmackDown. Seth Rollins is going to return to Raw. King Nakamura, the Intercontinental Champ, and Rick Boogs are going to be staying on SmackDown. The U.S. Champ, da- the U.S. Champ Damian Priest stays on Raw. Sheamus goes to SmackDown. AJ Styles and Omos are going to stay on Raw. Shayna Baszler is going to SmackDown. Kale Kevin Owens goes to Raw. Zia Lee is going to SmackDown. The Street Profits are going to return to Raw. The Viking Raiders are, return- are going to SmackDown. Finn Balor returns to Raw. Ricochet goes to SmackDown. Karen Cross stays on Raw. Umberto Carrillo and Angel Garza are, are going to um, SmackDown. Alexa Bliss stays on Raw. Cesaro stays on SmackDown. Carmella goes to Raw. Ridge Holland goes to SmackDown. Gable and also Olympic gold medalist Gable Stevenson is going to Raw. Sami Zayn stays on SmackDown. Miz stays on Raw. Liv Morgan goes to, to Raw. Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin are staying on Raw. Tegan Knox goes to Raw. Tamina stays on Raw. Mia Yim goes to Raw. Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode are going to Raw. Even though they lost last night to Drew McIntyre and Big E. Dan Brooks stays on Raw. Veer goes to, goes to Raw. Jackson Riker stays on Raw. Shotzi Blackheart stays on SmackDown. Natalya goes to SmackDown. Jinder Mahal goes to SmackDown. And Shanky goes to SmackDown as well. Those legends are the night two of the WWE, of the 2021 WWE Draft night two results from last night. That is all there is you need to know, everybody. And uh, that's all there is to you need to know. And then Mr. Fridge, man. Brock Lesnar is the fridge, by the way. And Bailey is as well. And then she's got an injury, knee injury. And um, yeah, that's all there is you need to know in there, everybody. Also, some others I, w- I want to get into, by the way, that um, two time NBA champ and former. Yeah, two-time NBA champ Paul Gasol's a time from the NBA, so that's best to get there, and that's all there's need to know. So, it's all suited for that, buddy. Also, some other news, by the way, that um, Bubba Wallace became the second black driver and also the first black driver to win a NASCAR Cup race at Talladega since Wendell Scott did back in 1963. So, big rest to Bubba Wallace on that and joining the racing on that. So, big rest to Bubba Wallace on that. What a huge victory that is for him. And I know a lot of people are, are, were excited about that. I know they were. So what a big win for him. He heads to the playoffs, and that's all there's needs on that. NASCAR playoffs for sure, Brad. So that's all there's needs on that. 
Also, guys, um, Shad Khan. Sorry, guys. Shad Khan. He um he says Ermeyer has to um regain our trust and respect after the inexcusable conduct of him showing showing a woman dancing in front of him. And uh, Shad Khan even says that uh that Urban Meyer is confident he'll deliver. That that um. That Urban Meyer's going to deliver. So, so if you guys, so Urban Meyer did apologize to himself. He apologized to his family members, Shelly, the kiddos. He apologized to his teammates, the Jags. He apologized to the fans, the Jags fans, viewers, subscribers out there, which he did. Because if a woman was seen dancing in front of him while he was singing on a bar stool at the, um, at the Urban Meyer Pine House, by the way, in Ohio, while he was celebrating his friend Chris's birthday this past Friday. There's another video that shows him have shown his fingers on the woman on the uh, woman's backside, and um, honestly, I'll tell you this: Urban Meyer. Well, he was under fire for this, but Urban Meyer could be on the hot seat for sure. And I'm not sure his wife Shelly is. I mean, sure Shelly says shows babies in the kiddos, and then. Uh, she says that she was he was having a good time. It's very clear the kiddos were there. They may not have been there. So he did apologize to his family members and his fans, his viewers, his subscribers his, of of her of the um. Honestly, it's not looking good there. So the Jacks right now have an own for a record, and needs to say that um, Herb Meyer may have made the big mistake of his life. And I think that, I mean, sure, Urban Meyer is arguably one of, the, one of the greatest college football coaches in college football history. You know, days of Florida and Ohio State. But um, I think it's going to say that Urban Meyer is going to have to, I mean, he did retire as a college football coach rather from Ohio State. But now he's in the NFL now. But now he's getting under scrutiny because of a woman showing him, show because a woman that was dancing right in front of him while well, singing a browser of the at his um Urban Meyer Pine House in Ohio. So let me ask you this. Why would Urban Meyer be celebrating when you go into a party after the, after they lost to the Bengals last week? Someone explain that for sure. This is Urban Meyer getting exposed on live television, which she was. Now second video shows shows Urban Meyer showing his fingers on that woman's backside. And he did apologize for that. So, Urban Meyer here, I apologize for that. And there came with some repercussions awaiting for Urban Meyer, I can tell you that much. And I'll tell you this, that um, Urban Meyer could have had been released as the Jags coach. And this is going to be bad in all sense, which it is. I mean, Trevor Lawrence is not looking too good right now. And Urban Meyer may lose. I mean, he, he may be released prior, prior to this incident of a woman dancing around in front of his... um. Lap and all, but I think it's gonna say, I mean, he could be released for that. He could also be released that he's not gonna be able to get back, that he's not gonna be able to help the Jags and uh, Trevor Lawrence get to the playoffs. So that that could ensue there. I'll tell you this, Urban Meyer, his his coaching career is over. Urban Meyer is gonna be done for. I'll tell you that. So Urban Meyer, what you did, you made you were argue you made the biggest mistake of your life. You thought you were going to help the Jags become a success. You thought you were going to help Trevor Lawrence become a huge success. You also thought that you were going to help the Jags get to the playoffs. But guess what, Mario? That's not going to do you any good. Especially prior to that that uh, video of, of of a woman dancing around in front of you, and then you put and then another video shows you placing your fingers on that woman's backside. Are you kidding? And you did and yeah, sure you did apologize for that. Hey kiddos, how is Shelly gonna feel about you doing this kind of stuff? Like really? And you sure he is a dancing distraction? Urban Meyer, let me tell you this. I hope I hope for once that you hang I hope for once that you that you get fired easily. Cause Urban Meyer, your coach career, you're sorry as NFL coach, as Jack's coach, it's, it's gonna be over for you. I'm sorry. I mean sure, people were clamoring for you, but I think it's disappointing for you. 
that you're not gonna that you're not helping the, the Jags get to the playoffs. I, I can tell you that right now. So honestly, I think that the Jags are, are going to have to move on from, from the uh, Urban Meyer, which they must. And it's gotta happen. I don't know if it is. If the Jags they win games, Urban Meyer can save himself from catastrophe, which he can. So they can still get him back. I just hope he doesn't do it again. That's all I gotta say on that, everybody. So the Jags don't make it to the playoffs, which they probably may not. They're done. So that's it right there, everybody. So everybody should know better. Also, some others I want to get into, by the way. Alex Morgan calls out the NWSL to end the failure fa failure lead to um to to, to, to report the um, sexual harassment of players by league coaches. Now, you guys remember that um, Lisa Baird resigned as both the NWSL commission, and she also resigned from the board as well, the U.S. Soccer Board of Directors, by the way, as well. She from the allegations against um, Paul Riley, by the way, who was the former NC Courage coach, by the way. He was accused of sexual coercion and misconduct, by the way. And I think it's safe to say that... Um, that all these women up from the uh, that are playing the NWSL and the U.S. Women's Soccer, they they voice their opinions, which they can do. So that's all they can do for that, everybody. And I think that um, these women can take a stand. That's all they can do on that, and there needs to be some like evidence in that. What, what, what they need to be. So it's good that Alex Morgan's stepping up to the plate, and it's a good thing that she's um, taking action in this. So, 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 so let her have a say in that. Let, let all the let all the NWSL athletes have a say in that. That's all they gotta do. And it just can't. Ha I mean, honestly, this kind of stuff. Misconduct allegations, sexual coercion, it, it can't happen no more. It just really cannot. So, that's all you can say on that, buddy. Also, got some other news I want to get to, by the way. Hayden Holman, who, who was from Sugar City, Idaho, was um, deceased during a St. George Marathon in um, Athens, Georgia. Minutes from uh, crossing the finish line. My thoughts and prayers go to um, Hayden Holman's family members, all of his fans, all of his viewers, all subscribers to this horrific um, tragedy. And uh, that's all there's needs to know in there, everybody. So awful news there. Also, guys, some other news I, I want to get into, by the way, that um, other news that Justin Thornton was deceased at 38 weeks after being KO'd by um, Dylan Eckler, by the way, at BKFC. Brand new fighting 20 and August 20th, by the way. So I'm not sure the KO anything to do with it. My thoughts and go to um, Justin Thornton's family members, all of his fans, all of his viewers, subscribers. Horrific tragedy and um. It's very unclear what his death toll was. That's all he needs to know in there, everybody. So, off the news there. Also, <clears throat> guys, some other news, by the way, I want to get into. That a uh, Washington football trainer, personal, Washington football sports trainer, athletic trainer is being investigated because um, he was, or excuse me, he was on leave, by the way, because because um, Lyle County Sheriff's Office, or Lyle County Sheriff's Dep Department and uh, DEA agents, they raided... The uh, Innova, the Innova, um, it says right here, the Innova Sports Performance Center, and also they've raided his house. Now, this is under criminal investigation, by the way. It's very clear what, um, that athletic trainer, that athletic trainer who's being investigated for criminal investigation, who had, Alec, who had Lowell County Sheriff's Department and DA agents raid his house, was named uh, Ryan Vermillion, who is on administrative leave, by the way. It's very unclear what's being accused of, so no arrests have not been made yet, no charges have not been made, but he is on leave now, so it is very unclear what he's um, being accused of for sure. I, I I don't know for sure, but he is on leave as, as far as I know, so I think that um, there needs to be more legal action, and there could be more deeds that could have emerged. I don't know if they will by this week. Who knows, guys? So, um, Ryan Vermillion. Why, well, Ryan Vermillion was on leave, by the way, and um, and uh, also the fact that DA and Lowell County Sheriff's Department, they were also looking into this case. It's very unclear what he's being accused of for sure on that, so um, that's all this for that, everybody, and that's all this I can say on that, everybody, so... That's all there's needs to know in there, everybody. So Washington football athletic trainer Ryan Vermeer is on place on leave after there's a criminal investigation when DEA and Lyle County Sheriff's Department.
they uh, raided the um, Innova Sports Medicine Performance Center, which is in Ashburn, and then they raided his house. So that is all there is easy on there, everybody. And um, he's, also, he's also the um, managing team's he also is an infections, infections control officer, managing team's COVID health and safety protocols, by the way. And um, that's all there's for that. So it's very, so there can be more deals that can be merging pretty soon. I don't know when. Could be tonight, today, tonight. Who knows, guys? So that's all there's for that, everybody. Also, guys, some other news I want to get into, by the way, that um, see here. John West Townsley, who was shot, by the way, he attacked. His ex, Laura Townley, and another man by the name of Zach Anderson with, with a hatchet before being shot to death in Athens, Georgia. So, um, that is all there is to you. So, with everybody, all it was, it was awful news there. So, it's all for that you need to know, everybody. And, um, that is all there is to you to know. So, John was shot after he attacked both his um, ex. Laura Townsley and another man by the name of Zach Anderson with a hatchet. So, before being shot to death in Athens, Georgia. So, that's all these needs to know on that. So, it's all these to know on that, everybody. Also, some other news. The Chargers defeat the Raiders 20 to 14, everybody. I'm glad the Chargers, they beat, they beat the Raiders, which they did. I mean, that's the Chargers, Raiders' first loss, by the way, this season. So, it's all these to know on that. Also, guys, um, Shaq. Shaq and Snoop Dogg were on stage for the Shaq O'Neal Foundation holding the event, raising 2.7 mil. That, um, for benefiting the Boys and Girls Clubs and communities in, um, ATL and Vegas, by the way. So, that's probably all part of the Sha Shaquille O'Neal Foundation. So, that's all this for that, everybody. And that's all you need to know, everybody. So, that's all I can say. All this, guys, this AI introduced. Cannabis line with Al Harrington to launch the indie dominant flower 96. So, then from Al Harrington, you can hear his speech, by the way. That's all you need to know. That. Everybody, that's all you need to know. Another news I want to get to, by the way, the Dolphins have traded Jakeem Grant Singer to the Bears and a 2023 six round pick. So, it's a big move right there. That's, that's all there's for that. And, um, that's all you need to know. That, everybody. Another news I want to get to, by the way, that, um, I'm pretty sure you guys, you guys are probably going to be in for this. I know it's going to surprise you guys. I know some, I know it's going to sat, satisfy you guys. Some of you guys are going to be very upset about this. That the final DLC character was unveiled today for for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, by the way. And it could have been Crash Bandicoot. It could have been Spyro. It could have been a Virtual Fighter character. It could have been a Streets of Rage character. It could have been. Well, Raymond, I would say. Well, Doom Slayer. Well, Doom Slayer. It's not. But he's a, he's a meat costume, by the way. It could have been, you know, Master Chief. It could have been well, Soul Calibur character. I can say it could have been a dead or alive character, like Ryu Hayabusa, Retro Fighter character, I guess. Battle Toads or Double Dragon character, but it wasn't one either of them. And it could have been Crash Bandicoot too, but it's not. Instead, it was Sora from from the Kingdom Hearts games. He is the final character in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And I'm very upset about that. I really am. But that's it, guys. So, Sora is the, Super Smash, so, Sora is the final character for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which it is. And there's, no, there's not going to be a third fighter's pass. And uh, that's it for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, by the way. So, that's a wrap, everybody. Now, Sora is going to be playable October 18th, guys, with the Mii costumes. That'll be out as well. So, um, that's it for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, by the way. And I know it's going to be a new Super Smash Brothers game later this year in 2022. So, um, that's all these you know in there, everybody. So, keep your eyes out on that. And a source and Sakurai's retiring, by the way, I can tell you about that. So, who knows, everybody? That could be it. And that's going to be it for Super Smash Ultimate, by the way, guys. And what is an Immortal Kombat character either? It could have been, but it's not. It said it's Sora from K Kingdom Hearts games. This is all during. Disney's 50th anniversary. I mean, my goodness. I gotta say it's a huge game change. I mean, sure. I mean, it was it was linked. This was complete. This is clearly linked. It's just like the company named Sora Limited. But Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? 
That's not right. That's just not right. That, come on. That's uncalled for. I'm, I'm not satisfied with that. I'm really not. It could have been crashed me. That's the only chance you ever got. Only chance you ever got. So, it could have been crashed me. It could have been or a spiral. But clearly, that's just uncalled for. So, Sora is the final DC character for Super Smash, for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, by the way, guys. And you can tell the trailer, by the way. That's all there's you know on that. And, uh, yeah. How to feel about it? Very upset about that. And that's all there is you gotta know. So, that's all you need to know on that, everybody. Also, ladies and gents, that um, Nickelodeon All Stars Brawl is out now, guys. And check that game out. Also, got some news, by the way. Um, I want to I wish that brothers out to Kate Winslet, Neil deGrasse Tyson, Bill James, Mario LeMay, Mayu, Kate, uh, late, excuse me, late Bernie Mac, Natalie, Kelly, Mercedes. Lambring, Nikki Hilton, Liza Barrow, Zoe Cremond, Harley Brash, Taylor Page, Grant Hill, Mike Pimmon Jr., Shelby Rabara, Ayana Jordan, Parminder, Nagra, Kevin, Magnuson, Jesse Palmer, Cassandra Jean, Patrick Roy, Emily, Gemma, Cody, Zeller, Bushra, and Terry Runnels. Somebody, birthday wishes. Shout out to Twitter. Please be sure to do so on that. That's everything you need to know, everybody. And that's all I can say on that, everybody. So, um, yeah. That's it there, everybody. That's all you need to know. And also, guys, this. Yankees versus Red Sox. AL Wildcard rivalry game. That's going to be tonight, guys. Be sure to stay tuned for that. Who do you guys got? You got the games for the Red Sox. Let me know with that for sure, buddy. That's all I can say on that. And, um, yep. That's everything you need to know, everybody. So, best yet there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it right there for the Kalila Sports Board. Like, subscribe to the Kalila that was Sports Board YouTube channel on Facebook page by any and all means necessary. Send me a comment, switch your your thoughts on the W Draft Night 2. was also Monday Night Raw last night. Thoughts about that. Let me know the, what the biggest figure yet there is. If you're going to see and go into Raw, by the way, that's about that. I'll just want to share, buddy. And that's all I can say on that, everybody. And there were some tactics being split up, by the way. And so I can say on that. He doesn't. Well, that's on Paul Gasol retired from the NBA. Let me know the conversation about that. I'll just want to share, buddy. He doesn't bump balls, become the second black driver to win the NASCAR Cup race at a uh, NASCAR Cup Series race at Talladega, by the way. Since Wendell Scott did back in 1963. Thoughts about that. Saying congrats to him, uh, brother. So there's detail on that. He will be because of waiting Urban Meyer because even though he <coughs> he was um under fire after he was. Seeing with the woman dancing, seeing with the woman dancing right in front of his lap while he's on a bar stool and he was placing his fingers on his woman's backside during his friend's party, during his friend's party, Chris party at the um, Urban Meyer Pine House. And um, he could be released probably this week or maybe, or it could be keeping his job intact. We never know, guys, because the Jags right now are just looking not that, that they're 0 4 now. Urban Meyer, you may as well just kiss your career goodbye. Coach your career goodbye. And Urban Meyer, you may as well just step away from the NFL for good. Because I think you may just make a mistake of your life. That's what you did. That's what you did. So, Urban Meyer, you know your season's going to be over. If you don't get to the playoffs, your season's done. That's it. That's all I'm going to say about everybody. Also, he thought the charges being the race 20 to 14 last night. Thoughts about that, but let me know if it comes to I'll just about sure, buddy. Your thoughts on Sora being in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, by the way, and Kingdom. He's from Kingdom Hearts, by the way, guys. And um, he's the final DLC character for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for sure, buddy. You think it's a good bad pick or a good pick? Let me know if it comes to but Even though this was a bit leaked, which it was. So, thoughts about that. I'll just want to share, buddy. That's all I can say on that. I think a lot of people were expecting that, but obviously they were. Yeah, that's on, um, let's see here. Alex Morgan is saying that she's going to call the NWSL to end the uh, failure that led to um, detail of sexual harassment of players by Lee Coach, by the way, even though Paul Riley was released, by the way, and of sexual coercion and misconduct allegations. I guess somebody thought about that. Or because we're waiting for, for um, Ryan Vermillion as he was um, placed on leave because of the Lowndes County Sheriff's Office and also the um, 
DA, they uh, raided his house, by the way. Over this investigation, by the way, it's very unclear what he's being accused of. So there have been no arrests, no charges that yet, though. And that's all I can say on that. That's all they need to know. So everybody works at the Kate Winslet, Neil, Neil deGrasse Tyson, Bill J James, Mario LeMay Mayu, Lay Bernie Mac, Natalie Kelly, Mercedes Lambry, Nikki Hilton, Liza Barrow, Zoe Craman, Craman, Harley Brash, Taylor Page, Grant Hill, Jesse Palmer, Cassandra Jean, Patrick Roy, Ayana Jordan, somebody brother wishes out sweet and Terry Ramos as well, Bushra, Cody Zeller, Emily, Gemma, somebody brother wishes out sweet and please do that. Well, as you can know that. I'm back for breaking news. Same time at least someone's going to hold up on the clothes. Sports, whatever, the sports, later. And as you can know, all I got to say, take care, you guys. You guys have a good day. Please be safe with that. Bye bye.